my legislation corrects this deficiency and thus avoids the endless dispute over where the exact location of the line between what the President already possesses independently and what the Congress is bestowing on him by legislation, where that line rests. My bill enumerates five instances where the President may use force. First, to repel without congressional authority at the outset. First, to repel attack on U.S. territory or U.S. forces. Second, to deal with urgent situations threatening supreme U.S. interest, i.e. the Cuban Missile Crisis. Three, to extricate imperiled U.S. citizens. Four, to forestall or retaliate against specific acts of terrorism. An and act you, of war. It's an act of war. And so war. the United That's States right. does it could what? take whatever action it deems appropriate. A disproportionate response. Whatever is what is needed. If we find out they did that, we're going to have to get tougher. Bomb to Iran? What do you think? We're going to have to get Joe Biden. And I approve this message. We live in the most dangerous moment in a generation. Our world set on edge by an erratic, unstable president. This is a moment that requires strong, steady, stable leadership. Completely no point. With Iran. But everything was kind of calm. we don't for a while. Obama the, did something, the deal, and now he's stirring the up deal, Iran. But the, Why? Do you want to go through the? You know what? Do you want to go through the Iran deal? Iran has now fulfilled key commitments under the nuclear deal. Uh, it cuts off all the pathways for Iran getting a nuclear weapon. Before the deal, it had installed nearly 20,000 centrifuges. Today, Iran has removed two thirds of those machines. Since this week. Uh, acknowledged that they're building advanced centrifuges, and Iran's uh, supreme leader announced earlier this week he's ordered preparations to increase uranium enrichment. If Iran tries to cheat, they try to build a bomb covertly, we will catch them. A deal that will prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. Iran is not developing a nuclear weapon. He's agreed to never, ever pursue a nuclear weapon. The minister does say in the interview, we are not dismantling any centrifuges, we are not dismantling any equipment, President Rouhani said in a separate interview, uh, we are not uh, going to destroy any centrifuges. Well, uh, again, are they you're, going you're, rogue on this deal? How Iranian officials characterize this uh, for a domestic audience it matters far less to us. Uh, they're just making these comments for domestic political consumption. CNN is broadcast outside of Iran, mm -hmm. right? You could confirm. Uh, yeah, I've seen it here. So. So it, aren't, they, aren't they also sending a message to you, to the president, what to I'm, the U.S.? It's not just domestic political consumption if they're talking to a broader audience. And I don't speak uh, uh, Farsi. Does, don't those two actions demonstrate both uh, the, the weakness of the Iran deal in the sense that they're so ready to, to start with the centrifuges and the enrichment of uranium, so, you know, like that, um, and not to mention how insincere the Iranians were about it. No, the, it, it, well, it demonstrates is it's a response to what Trump did. Are you considering allowing such transactions? And if so, is that not a betrayal of your assurances that most U.S. sanctions would stay in place? That's not taking. Uh, so uh, let me say broadly that so long as Iran is carrying out its end of the bargain, we think it's important for the world community to carry out our end of the bargain. Uh, they have, in fact, based on the presentations that were made by the IAEA this morning to the uh, uh, to the P5 plus one, uh, have in fact followed the implement stage, uh, implementation steps that were laid out. The Obama administration actively misled Congress about an effort to help Iran before the deal was signed. We are going to have to find ways to help Iran get access to its own money. Which Even before the deal was signed? No, this is part of uh, how the deal was implemented. And keeping but, but the deal had not the yet deal. been signed when you lifted the sanctions on that $5.7 billion. No, no, this was part of our commitment as, as we were negotiating the deal. It was Iran's own money that they had to get access to. Iran released five Americans who were unjustly detained on Iranian soil. Was this money ransom for the folks that were released? No, it was not. The, it is against the policy of the United States. Uh, to pay ransom for hostages. So this all came to a head at the same time. Everything was kind of calm. We don't for a while. Obama did something. Did, look, sometimes hypocrisy is just hitting you so hard in the face you don't know what to do with it.